Reading Myanmar, Vowels, Lesson 18. Beginning with this lesson, the next six lessons, all of the vowels are going to have something in common. They're going to utilize what's called a final N sound. We'll get to that in a minute. You'll recognize most of these symbols except for the third example that we use, which is a new symbol. The placement then of these is, as you see, the first two examples are placed directly to the right of the consonant. However, the new symbol is placed directly above the consonant, but they all have the same sound. And that sound is like the letters A-N in the word pan. But here is the definition of a final N vowel. The N sound is clipped off. You begin to make the N sound, but it does not resonate. Now, the best example that I've heard is it sounds like that first letter N in the word uh-huh. Now, in this case, it has the A-N sound, but instead of sounding like an, it sounds like eh, eh. The romanized form on both the language app and in the dictionary is the letters A-N. Its usage is moderate, and you're going to find it in words like the word for chapter, a can, a can, or the word for Bible, jan, jan, or the word for standard, as in a Bible standard, san, san. I've selected two words from the language app that actually utilize all three symbols. The first is taken from the heading, the Christian Congregation. It's the word for kingdom hall. And here you see the AN vowel. It's associated with the consonant just to the left of it. The second example comes from the Bible Studies and Discussion section, and it is the word for Bible study. Here's the first symbol that makes this vowel sound, and here's the second symbol. Both of them have the same sound. Listen to it closely, and that finishes this lesson.